Hey everybody, I'm Alex from Mad Architects Gaming, and today we're going to be recording a very short video, but it's going to be very interesting because one, we've got our new camera all set up and we're going to try doing a uh, higher quality uh, face cam, and two, the game that we're playing today is called One Ping Only. You play as a submarine pilot, sort of. Be re you'd be the whole crew, technically. But that's not the point. Uh, the point is that you're basically, all you have is sort of a visual representation of what the pings from the uh, sonar tell you is around you. And you're trying to navigate through this, like, this area and explore the whole, the whole like, uh, this sunken city uh, from an ancient civilization. Or really, this is like, you're in the future and you're trying to, re trying to learn about the civilization that was... Uh, previously probably a modern time civilization. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and jump right on in. And away we go. Now, it's very unintuitive to me to be uh, driving around this submarine. And you can see what I mean when I say these like sonar pings. But to me, it should have inverted controls, and I don't play in inverted controls on a lot of things, but it just seems like this game should automatically have them. Now, there's not a ton to do for this game, because it was made for a game, ja a game jam by, I believe, a bunch of, uh, a bunch of college kids. But, uh, this game is free on Steam, so you can give it a shot if you want. It's, it, it's a very short, quick game, but it's a very interesting mechanic. I will say there's not a lot of punishment for messing up. Like, you just saw me ram straight into that thing. There's really... you don't you don't fail, uh, you just have to kind of get yourself unstuck, which isn't really that hard to do. But you can see sort of the landscape around this submarine as you're steering your way through this area. And it's, it's a very interesting landscape because it's it's a city. Like, you can see here, uh, as the ping goes by right there, you can see where the windows are on these buildings. And then, when you hit these blue areas, and I'm sort of stuck, but there we go. When you hit these blue areas, you scan them. There's six areas to scan. We're going to try to get them all and see if there's anything after that, because that's about as far as I... Uh, no. Oh man, I'm missing a bunch of storyline things at the top. Okay. Captain. Hmm, this doesn't bode well. Oh. These look like air, the surface-to-air missiles the Obsidian Navy used to use. Yes, I used them back on the islands of Europa. Okay, so there's something very grim and haunting about this game, suddenly. I was not aware. I, uh... I don't know what that has to do with this, this city being, like, sunken, but... This is... There are weak parts of the bubble ahead that we can blast with torpedoes. I'm highlighting them on your display. F to fire torpedoes. Huh. Okay, so there's mechanics that I uh, hadn't reached yet in my very brief attempt to uh, figure out if this would be a decent game to record in. Looks like an old YJT transformer station. Looks beat looks beat to all hell. I've heard of this kind of attack before, but only rumors and ah oh man, I missed it. Okay, so we got one more area to scan. Torpedoes away! That's that's really fun to watch the torpedoes, actually. Okay, here it is. Oh. Well I can tell you right now that's a bomb. Or no, is that another submarine? That's the Olympus, yeah. I knew her captain. Order, sir. 
press on, we should we we would sully the honor of Olympus. Okay. So we've scanned all the areas. And there is apparently more to this game than I thought there was. Kind of like where we started. Wonder what we're pressing on towards. Oh. Now do we go up or down? Let's go down. Sonar just went offline. Reset the system. Uh -huh. Oh, what the hell? Bring up the active sonar. One ping, sir. That was actually really interesting. So I didn't, I didn't think about it, uh, but it, I've seen a couple of movies where they do one ping, and one ping is sort of how you uh, try to get basically just this like glimpse of what's going on uh, around you without giving away your position more than you have to. So. That sort of, that cliffhanger ending right there was sort of a, uh, something very serious is actually happening. Because we saw the sunken submarine. Oh, well, more sunken than most submarines, I guess. Uh, but they didn't really talk about what had happened to it. It just sort of looked like it crashed there. And we went on further than it went, presumably. But uh, there was something weird in that sort of massive cave that we were delving into and it was the the passive sonar that we were using showed everything in red and i i don't know if it was like a nuclear core or something but there was like that sphere and I, I fixated on that i don't know if there i was supposed to see something else there but this game was a lot more interesting than i thought it was going to be uh I definitely recommend giving it a shot, seeing if there's anything else uh, to explore in the world. There's a whole other path that I didn't take off to the right, I think, near the very beginning. Maybe that's a completely different storyline. This game's free on Steam. I definitely recommend giving it a shot if, you're, if you think you're interested. Thanks for watching the video, and I'll see you in the next one.